Today we're in Chicago. Thanks for joining us. One of the most iconic dishes that we have here in Chicago. Chicago style hot dog. And we are going to go on a Chicago hot dog food tour. Let's get started right now. We have decided to start this video off at Portillo's. Portillo's isn't necessarily the best hot dog in Chicago, but it's definitely one of the most famous. They have locations all over Chicagoland, and we think that this is the perfect spot to start this video to explain the basics of what a Chicago-style hot dog is. Now Portillo's is the fundamental when it comes to the Chicago-style hot dog. We've got an all-beef hot dog, tomato, sport peppers, a whole pickle spear. Then underneath that, you can see the neon green relish, and right there we have onions. Oh, and hiding over here is the mustard. And then sprinkled on top is celery salt. And that all comes on a poppy seed hot dog bun. So those are the elements of the classic Chicago style hot dog. Here we go. It's hard to get every element in every bite, but Portillo's does a fantastic job. And one thing that's very important to remember when it comes to Chicago style hot dogs, never ever add ketchup. That is the number one no-no in this town. We are in Lincoln Park and we are heading to Chicago's Dog House. Not only do they have classic Chicago style hot dogs, but they have a whole variety of gourmet hot dogs. We're pretty excited, we're hungry, let's do this. So we're pretty hungry and we ordered three hot dogs. We got a daily dog, a monster of the midway, and a Snoop Dog. The Snoop Dog is a chili dog, classic chili dog. The Midway Monster has barbecue sauce, jardinera, bacon, so that was hard to pass up. And the Daily Dog is a little more uh, high flutin. It's got uh, grilled onions and Dijon mustard, so uh, we'll see which one's best. This place is really cool. They have a bunch of different gourmet hot dogs with really cool names. They have one called the Blagojevich, which is a traditional Chicago dog, but it has ketchup on it, so it's guilty on one count. <laughs> All right, so this is the daily dog. It's got cheddar cheese, grilled onions, uh, Dijon mustard. Looks great. Mm. That's insanely good. All right, the traditional Chicago dog. Mm, that's a really good hot dog. I lost my sport peppers all over the table but worth it, it's so good. So one of the cool things they do here are frips. These are fried chips, they're made in house. Absolutely love these whenever I can find them. See them a lot on the East Coast, not as much here. Mm. That crunch was so loud. That was good. <laughs> so this is the Snoop Dogg. I imagine if you partook in his favorite activity, this would be pretty good. Mm. Knocking out of the park. Really good. And this is the Midway Monster. It has jardinera, bacon, I think like a barbecue sauce? I'm actually not sure. Cheddar cheese. There's a lot of flavor going on in there. And I love the spice from the jardinera. Mmm, so good. We just finished up at Chicago's Dog House. Man, their hot dogs are absolutely delicious. Their staff was super friendly. We had a great time. So if you are in Lincoln Park, you better head over to Chicago's Dog House and try some of these amazing dogs. 
Today we are in Bridgeport and we're heading to a spot that has been on our radar for a long time. It's called the Duck Inn. And today we have our sights set on their gourmet Chicago style hot dog. Just placed our order here at Duck Inn for their famous hot dog. It's an all beef hot dog made with duck fat and all the classic Chicago trimmings. I've been hearing about this hot dog for a long time and I'm excited to be here to try it. Here is the hot dog. We got pickled serrano peppers. We have their house-made relish that has onions, tomatoes in it. And then we have our classic pickle served on a poppy seed brioche bun, which just looks incredible. Let's do this. Wow. The dog is absolutely delicious. And the snap. Not everyone's a fan of the snap, I found out, but I am. And this has a great one. All right, let's go and let's get some peppers in here. That brings some nice heat. That was very, very good. I'm not surprised. Ooh. All right, it's tasty. Everything's really fresh, homemade. I absolutely love variations of Chicago style hot dog. And this one, as Madeline said, it's got the pickle, it's got the support pepper, relish, mustard, poppy seed bun, but it's different. I mean, you've never seen a Chicago style hot dog looks like this, so let's find out how good it is. Mm. First off, as far as the actual hot dog goes, that's as good a hot dog as you're gonna get. The sport pepper definitely got some heat. I think I'm becoming more sensitive to heat in my old age. And uh, I like the relish on there. That's a really, really good hot dog. The hot dog here at Duckin does not disappoint. It is absolutely delicious, and it deserves to be on every list out there of great Chicago hot dog spots. Today we are heading over to Fatso's Last Stand in the Ukrainian village. They claim to have Chicago's best char dog, and we are looking forward to finding out if that's true. sitting outside on Fatso's patio and I love their setup. They got their Vienna beef umbrellas, they got the picnic tables. We ended up getting a char dog with everything on it, classic Chicago style, and also a half pound of shrimp because they got signs all over the place saying you gotta eat their shrimp. Fatso's char dog. Nice day. Good hot dog, great hot dog. What more do you ask for? Napkins. Yeah, napkins. <laughs> you know, one thing I noticed is that they don't skimp on the celery salt. That's a key ingredient that I think a lot of places just don't put a lot of thought into. There's really good flavor on the hot dog itself. Sometimes all this is the star. But I really believe they got a great dog. Mm. So we got a half pound of fried shrimp. With their shrimp, they give you two sauces. They give you a mild and a spicy. I'm gonna try the mild first. Mmm, really good breading on their shrimp. Let's try the spicy. I usually like things spicy, so. Ooh, it's got a kick. We just finished up here at Fatso's Last Stand. They really do have some of the most delicious hot dogs in the city, and you know what? I think we're gonna be back because we wanna try some of their hamburgers and some of their mac and cheese. Right now we are downtown Chicago and we are heading to Devil Dogs. They do an array of gourmet dogs with a bunch of different toppings. It's one of our favorite hot dog spots in the city. We 
got three hot dogs. This is the Blue Demon dog. It has sauerkraut, onions, a pickle, and a spicy mustard on it. Uh, Blue Demons after the fall. And this, this is a huge hot dog. So let's go. My, the mustard is spicy. I like it a lot. Sauerkraut on a hot dog is always good. It just works. Mm. And the dog itself, it's a lot of flavor. Very good. This is the Coney dog. Cheese, mustard, chili, onions. This has kind of been one of the things we've gotten into this summer. Kind of Detroit style. The real devil in this hot dog is the mess. All right, let's go. That's, that's good. That's a belly egg waiting to happen, but worth it. We got some fries as well, so I'm gonna take myself a little chili cheese fries. Treat. The chili is really good. This hot dog, Chicago style, beautiful version, neon green relish, and look at those tomatoes, dill pickle. It's classic. So one more thing I'm gonna do. Catch. No. <laughs> we would never do that here. Mm. Nothing better, summertime Chicago. Eating hot dogs. We just finished up at Devil Dogs. They know how to make a hot dog at Devil Dogs. The Blue Demon Dog was delicious, their classic hot dog, and they kind of knocked the Coney Dog out of the park with their awesome chili. They have a few different locations in Chicago. We went to the Loop, but if you're in the mood for a hot dog, I highly, highly recommend Devil Dogs. Today's stop on our Chicago hot dog extravaganza is uh, Superdog. It's a really cool place. It was built in the late 1940s and it's an old car hop spot. So you pull up and you order from the screen and they bring it right to your car. So that's pretty fun. That's a bit of a novelty that uh, you don't get at a lot of places in the city here. So I'm hungry. We're ready to go eat some hot dogs. Let's go see what Superdog's serving up. Uh, yes, can we get uh, one super dog and one whoopski dog? That's all. We're sitting in front of Superdog, pretty excited because we're continuing our Chicago hot dog uh, tour. tour. And Superdog is an institution. It's been here since the 40s. Though I don't think this is where it was at in the 40s, but those signs, or those hot dogs, those are original. They're kind of creepy, <laughs> but they're also kind of cool. Let's dig in. This is the, this is the fundamental. This is a Superdog. Hope I can get it out of here. Oh man. So they say that they're, they have their hot dogs specially made for them. Got that neon green relish. Got the sport pepper, the pickle, the onion. You ready for this? That was a good hot dog. We're gonna be mad we only got one. I'm trying to decide whether I should let Madeline have a bite or I should take a bigger bite and get more than half of it. I'll be nice. To, I'll be nice to save her some. My turn. Mm. Mm. That is very good hot dog. It's a little different. It's like a little more spice than just a regular Frankfurter hot dog. I love the pickle. Pickles is one of my favorite parts of the Chicago style hot dog. They also have pickled tomatoes, which was like, they're like little departure from a classic Chicago dog, which was kind of cool. 
It's good. I'm really excited to dig into this. This is the Whoopski dog. I think it's similar to like a Polish sausage. They combine a couple different sausages and it looks incredible. One real quick thing. They have crinkle fries, but these aren't frozen. They peel the potatoes themselves, make them into crinkle fries, and fry them for you. They're really good. They are really, really good. You get a lot of them with the Whoopski dog. Let's dig into the Whoopski dog. Look at this. Look at the bun. Whoop. Yeah, that's why they call it that. Whoop. Whoopski dog. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've never had one of these before. That's so good. I think I have whoopsie sauce running down my. Yeah, yeah, you do. This is covered in a special sauce. They got that big pickle on top and that special bun. Yeah, it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go, whoopsie dog. Sausage is really good. The sauce is awesome. Adam hyped it majorly, and it is delivering. Mm. That was good. Mm. So we finished up at Superdog. There is a reason why that place is a Chicago institution. Their hot dogs are very, very good. The Whoopski dog was a sleeper hit. It was a bit of a star of the show. I think we'll give Super Dog like five out of five sport peppers. What do you think? It's a five sport pepper rating. Five sport pepper rating or for rating Super Dog. The next stop on our Chicago hot dog tour is Jean and Jude's. Jean and Jude's is located in River Grove. It's about 25 minutes outside of Chicago, and it is one of the highest rated hot dogs in the city. It's always on the list of best hot dogs in not only Chicago, but also in America. So let's go and see what the hype's about. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a heavy bag, by the way. Well, we got a lot of food. We got a lot of, got a lot of food. I got into it. Ooh, it's almost going right out. Okay, so we got a double dog and two regular hot dogs. They all come piled high. French fries. Yeah, we got enough French fries for our. But, fun fact, Gene and Jude's does not have ketchup on the premises at all. Uh, not even for your French fries, because ketchup on a hot dog in this town is a big no-no. So we have to bring our own. <laughs> this will not be going on the hot dog, though, just so you know. We're going to go for it with all the fries. Normally I would take some off, but let's go for it. Mm. This is getting easy to remember. That's really good. That is a delicious hot dog. Mm. There's a reason why it's not on the list. So, Ooh. wow, this is the double dog, <laughs> and I'm gonna just bite into this. Look at those handcuffed fries. Good hot dog. They're good hot dogs. Well, the thing about it is, you're trying to bite through two hot dogs, and that's what's a little weird about it. So, we're gonna take all this mountain fries off. Yeah, you really can't eat it with all those fries on nah. there. It's fun to try. <laughs> it's good though. The fries are good. Oh. We saw them in there just hacking away at potatoes. For you, Scoot individuals out there who saw that there were only hot dogs 
and tamales on the menu at Gina Jude's. We decided to go ahead and get a tamale. Comes like this. Let's open it up. So that is the tamale. I didn't open it very well. It's kind of falling apart. Oh yeah. But let's try it. So a lot of hot dog places in Chicago also offer up tamales on the menu. I actually don't even know what's in here. I don't know. Does it say on the package what's in there? It says corn. It says corn. It says corn, yeah, well, we know that. Some sort of spice. Is it meat? Meat fat. Well, Gene and Jude's tamales and hot dogs. It's fun. Sick hot dogs. If you're looking for the classic Chicago style hot dog joint, Gene and Jude's absolutely delivers on that. They are some delicious hot dogs. We are in Wrigley Field. We're here to see the Cubs, even though all their famous players are gone and they're not that good right now. It's still fun to go to the bleachers. We're here to get some hot dogs, hot dogs. Hot Dogs closed their storefront a few years ago, and so the only place you can get it in Chicago is here in the bleachers at Wrigley Field. So this is sort of our Chicago hot dog hack. And we are here with two beautiful Hot Dogs hot dogs. Hot dogs here at Hot Dogs in the bleachers are named after Cubs players, naturally. This one here is the Rick Rona. It has Gouda cheese, a paprika mustard, and it's a Hungarian sausage. This is worth the trip over to the bleachers, just for this right here. So this is the Les Lancaster. It's a Thuringer sausage, which is pork and beef. It's got cheddar cheese. That's beer mustard. And it's a, it's got caramelized onions on it. Mm. In a lot of ways, these are the most expensive hot dogs in the city because you have to have a bleacher ticket. And in Wrigley, you can't get to the bleachers unless you buy a bleacher specific ticket. So you got the price of the ticket and the price of the hot dog. So hot dogs still exist in Chicago, even though it closed its door a number of years ago. I'm glad it exists. What made hot dog the sausage king of Chicago was he had a culinary background and he put a lot of effort into the actual sausage he put high ingredients good seasoning and that still comes through so even though the restaurant's closed you're getting that high quality sausage what a great place to enjoy it and it's the most exclusive hot dog in the city because it's only open 81 times a year mm. that guy is a wizard We are here at the Hot Dog Box in Bronzeville. Uh, can I get one uh, Portage House steak dog and one uh, stand style? We've wanted to come over to this spot for a long time. It's a father-daughter duo that started it about a year ago, August of 2020, and they have blown up since. Their gourmet filet mignon hot dog is supposed to be amazing, and I'm just so excited to be here to try it. So this is the filet mignon. It's called the Portage Steak Hot Dog. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. It's got mushrooms on it. Of course, that's the filet mignon hot dog in there. It's got their uh, special steak sauce on there, onions. We're not even gonna wait, we're just gonna go right in. Filet mignon hot dog. 
Oh, man. It smells so good. It tastes so good. Look at that. I have a beautiful hot dog. Bite number two. Mm. Mm. So good. I am so ready for this hot dog. I wanted to try it for so long. And Adam's raving about it, so let's see. flavor of the dog oh my gosh it's so good and I love the uh, steak sauce their house steak sauce this is, this is everything I was hoping it was going to be it's so good mm. Mm. that was a little messy <laughs> so they take really good care of you here you get the uh, potato sticks you get a cookie you get a drink with your meal I love the potato sticks I also love Chicago style hot dogs. They got the good looking one right here. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, great. Classic Chicago style hot dog. Covered mustard, neon green relish. The summer of Chicago style hot dogs continues at the hot dog box. Well, we absolutely devoured both of those hot dogs. They were delicious. We even got to meet the owner, Bobby, and you can just tell that he absolutely loves what he's doing. He puts so much care into the hot dogs that he's creating. If you're in Bronzeville, you've gotta come over here and have one of their hot dogs because it may be a newer Chicago hot dog spot, but they are doing some great work over here. Our Chicago hot dog tour continues. We're heading over to Jimmy's Red Hots over in Humboldt Park. We made a video recently about our favorite hot dog spots and everyone in the comments told us that we had to go to Jimmy's Red Hots. So today we're making that happen. Jimmy's has been around since 1954 and they have a very simple menu. It's hot dogs, Polish sausage, and french fries. So Jimmy's doesn't have indoor dining. We're out here in the cold. We're eating it right here. We got it with a Polish sausage and a hot dog. This looks like the hot dog. So here we go. And a bunch of fries. Ooh, the fries are so hot. They're fresh made. Mmm. Hot. <laughs> Very good hot dog. Fries are so hot. They're like burning my hands as I'm holding them. I'm gonna put a fry on the hot dog and I'm gonna pass some metal. Wow, that's a big fry. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's good. Now I know why everyone's been telling us to come here. Adam said it already, but there's a really good snap on this, uh, this hot dog. Mm. I'll try the Polish. It was literally freaking hot. Woo. I don't think I'm getting the steam on it. But that is hot, hot, hot. All I'm right. right now. It's the Polish sausage. We get, look at that fry perfectly on there. And this end's got the so sport many pepper. Fries. Relish, barbecue, barbecue, wow. Relish, mustard, onions, sport pepper, one fry. Here we go. I really like the Polish. If I was at a Bears game in cold weather, I'd want to eat this. The Polish has a good spice on it. Save some for me. All right, I'm gonna half <laughs> All right, Polish sausage is steaming hot. That was really good. There's a lot of really good flavor in here. Wow. Classic, simple, fundamental. Jimmy's is delivering. Mm. That's good. 
We made it over here to Jimmy's in Humboldt Park. It absolutely delivered. Hot dog was delicious. Polish was delicious. Everything for under 10 bucks. So it was also priced perfectly. If you're in the area, you gotta come over here and try Jimmy's. If you wanna see more of our Chicago food adventures, click right here, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.